YouTube and people who know me as Vulture Fry. I need to change my friggin' opening. <clears throat> it's getting a little too old. Um, this is another show. Shorter show. We are going into another shoot edition of the Vulture Fry show. I haven't done one since EA, I think, or somewhere around there. But what I think of Game of the Year, but one, hold that one more thing right there. Uh, November 17th, Tuesday, Assassin's Creed comes out. I'll get that. That'll be my last game because it's close to Christmas and stuff. And uh, the update coming out. I will have a review of the update t that Tuesday because it comes out Tuesday. Now, what I think of the so-called one game of the year. When somebody says game of the year, that is that game of the year. It is not like, oh my god, um, it's not the, the best game out of every generation. Listen, don't bash me for it. Just go to my Modern Warfare 2 review. I reviewed the goddamn game already. I just don't like the fact that people like they're they're all excited about it, jumping up in arms. Oh, wins and wins. Who the fuck cares? Next year you're gonna say, Oh, Modern Warfare 2 sucked, this game's better than Modern Warfare 2. This is what they call the cycles of video games. When 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 PlayStation when was it? When Xbox came out, it was Halo, then Halo Two, then Halo Three, then after Halo Three, Gears came out. Then it was Gears Two. Everybody said that was the best game. Then no, no. Shut up already. For crying out loud, people. When Call of Duty Five came out, I loved it. Half the other people didn't like it. When when 4 came out, a lot of people liked it. When 3 came out, meh. 2, meh. It's just a game. People act like online. This goes for everybody, including myself. Like, this is like the best game. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the best game. Holy shit. It's no. Because in the next year, you're going to say that was. That was the bad game. So I'm going to make it clear right now. I really, I'm not liking what Modern Warfare 2 is. I'm hoping they'll patch it up. They patch it up and it's better what it is. But don't screw up the uh, uh, airstrikes and stuff and the kill streaks. Don't fuck that up. But I just don't want them to fuck up the um, airstrikes. But fix the part where somebody can spawn up right behind you. I never saw that in Call of Duty 4 or 3 or 5. Never. Never in my life. Never happened. And maybe in a blue moon or whatever. But I never had it happen every match in a row. Where I'm like killing five guys and all of a sudden somebody comes up right behind me or, or spawns and I see their kill cam come up right, you know, like spawn it. I kill the guy. You know, like, this is how it works. I kill the last guy and that last guy, I see his kill cam. I, ki I see me kill him and then he, he spawns like right in the area and he just comes up and. He kills them. Like, what kind of sh stuff is that? They need to fix respawning, but that's how Call of Duty 4 is. That's why I prefer sometimes Halo or other games. Because they were more balanced. Yes, it would happen once in a while, but it was more balanced. They were, like, up to date on it. Halo, you kill somebody, they spawn on the other side. That's why I like Halo. Yes, I do rock the Halo. Uh... But I love Call of Duty to death. I just, I love the franchise. I just don't like how they, res like, have the respawning points. I don't know if, if anybody out th is out there dealing with the kind of same shit, but, uh, if you're too avoid of the, oh my god, this is the best game, I'm gonna say it right now. It's a very good game. Look. I got the freaking night vision. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that it's got to be the best game, like, for two years straight. If you want to do that, fine, that's your opinion, but I had enough. I, I was on Call of Duty 4 for six months. 
November, March, and the November is November for Call of Duty 4. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. -ish. I got off at it like around there. March, April, May. Almost June. I didn't, I, I stopped. And then I went on to other games. That's why I don't want to play with anybody no more. Because all they want to do is play that one goddamn game. That's why. Not everybody. Some people out there. They think it's like the, the game. I can't wait for Rainbow. I hope I hope it's better. I hope Rainbow Six is better. But this was a shoot edition of the Phil J. Fry show on Game of the Years and what I think about it. And um, I'm not bashing Modern Warfare. I'm just giving my opinion of it, of what I think they should fix. Oh, excuse me. What they shouldn't fix. And um, just. Please, people, stop being like the best game goddamn of all time. People said that for GTA, and it is, it is, but people move on. I move on. I just finished Ballad of Gay Tony. I will have it. I kept it. I keep my games. After three to four years, and then I get rid of it if I don't play it, like Fallout. Fallout was too hard for me. Sorry. So how was a good game? And the reason why, right before I leave, is the reason why you can't say it, you know, like Game of the Year because you have all these magazines and G4 and game trailers, they pick what they like. You know, game trailers can say Call of Duty, but then somebody else can say something else. Then the other company can say Call of Duty, and then the other company can say something else. So, technically, there is no... They should just drop the game of the year. Because wherever you go, Marcus, you know, Xbox um, Magazine, you know, like GameSpot, Game... All of them, they pick what they want. Yes, I know, there are pe there are some magazines and stuff that take votes from us, but I don't believe that because I think sometimes they rig that. But this is a shoot edition. So J Fry signing off. Gotta go. See you on Tuesday with a review of Assassin Creed and uh, yes, well maybe the update, update and Assassin Creed. I have to go watch, go back watching uh, Valsar Galactica.